Robert De Niro, you're just too stupid. Keep your mouth shut. If anybody should keep their mouth shut because of stupidity, it is Janine Pirro. And the Fox host proved it in this very segment attacking actor Robert De Niro. You know, my question for Robert De Niro is, what have you done for New York City, Robert mm. De Niro? What have you done? Is there a building with your name on it? Have you built skyscrapers? Has the skyline of New York changed because of all of your vision? Actually, it has. Robert De Niro co-founded the Tribeca Film Festival to revitalize and rebuild lower Manhattan after the area was decimated in the 9-11 attacks. De Niro also helped build the $600 million Wildflower Film Studios in the Queensboro of New York City. You had to read everything you read to get ahead in life, and now you're reading a script at a Biden-arranged press conference. You're a loser, and I'm not surprised you needed that. And let me, let me say this about the Biden administration. They're bleeding women, minorities, and they bring out this, this geezer. A geezer. Well... Janine Pirro has engaged in projection before, and she has frequently shown her age and ignorance while trying to defend Donald Trump. A few months ago, Pirro delivered a whopper while discussing a House hearing and talking about Trump's mishandling of classified documents. To a person, the Democrats spent the whole day saying Donald Trump obstructed. Well, uh, newsflash, Donald Trump is not charged with obstructing. Actually, Donald Trump is charged with obstruction. In the Florida documents case, count 33, conspiracy to obstruct justice. Obstruction is not the issue. Trump was also charged with false statements and representations, altering, destroying, mutilating, or concealing, as well as corruptly altering, destroying, or mutilating. The issue is not the issue at hand. Obstruction is not the issue. Janine Pirro's whoppers are an issue. So much so that two years ago, Fox News pulled the plug on her TV program. I thank you for fighting for me, and you know who you are. And so as we reach the end of this journey, don't think you're getting rid of me just yet. Yes, Fox News kept Pirro around as a commentator on The Five. <laughs> it's your turn. <laughs> It's your, it's your segment. And the controversies have become legendary. Mediate Fox News reportedly demoted Janine Pirro, own producer, torched her as a reckless maniac. Quote, Pirro had become so unmanageable that her own executive producer called her a reckless maniac, as a filing in the Dominion lawsuit previously indicated. This guy has been lying from the moment he came on the political scene. He has a lack of empathy. He is egocentric. He's got a condescending smirk whenever anybody asks him a question from the press. Some of the recklessness allegedly included drinking too much wine before going on air, a claim underscored by the good liars. Let me ask you a question. When you're on the air, do you, do you have a couple drinks before you go on? Never. Because I watched you one time and you were slurring your words a little bit. I was never slurring my words. On When you were on your show, on Judge Jeannie, you were slurring your words a little bit. But that's what we like about it. We that's, were like, it's this funny. is what's fun about the show. You see saying that I was slurring my words. Oh. Well, just you've had a couple... You just had a couple of, drinks. Uh, that, that's no? why we watched what's the show. What's your name? So back to the lies, including Pirro's whitewashing of Donald Trump's alleged crimes. Even though Pirro's fabrication about Trump not being charged with obstruction is undercut by the actual indictment, and Pirro's lies about Robert De Niro fall apart just by looking at neighborhoods in Tribeca and Queens, New York, will Fox News correct Pirro, apologize, or issue a retraction? Probably not because Fox generally has no shame. Instead, Fox management will likely insist, if pressed, that hosts like Jeanine Pirro are merely offering opinions. Of course, that didn't work in the Dominion voting system lawsuit against Fox. Jeanine Pirro was one of the anchors named in the suit for making false and defamatory claims. After they created four years of chaos, accusing Trump of sowing doubt in our democracy, saying that his questioning of this election is a danger to America, as if the election process being changed in the middle of an election is no big deal, as if a little fraud is okay. And they lash out on any voting challenge, casting it as a temper tantrum by us. Really? We're the ones having the temper tantrum? The tantrums by Pirro and others at Fox News ended up costing the channel $787 million. Through the years, Pirro has also lashed out at immigrants, peddled the great replacement theory espoused by MAGA extremists who claim that Democrats are welcoming migrants to dilute the power of white people. And then, of course, there is Pirro's full-throated support of Donald Trump. And that may explain why Pirro is cracking up again now in her rants against Trump critic Robert De Niro. 
This is a stressful time for MAGA world. On this day, as the jury began deliberations in Trump's criminal trial in New York, Donald Trump himself appeared to panic. On True Social, he wrote in all caps, Kangaroo Court, a corrupt and conflicted judge. Later, in a courthouse hallway, Trump seemed to set expectations that he will be convicted. I would say, in listening to the charges from the judge, who's, as you know, very conflicted and corrupt because of the confliction, very, very corrupt. Uh, Mother Teresa could not beat these charges. These charges are rigged. The whole thing is rigged. The whole country's a mess between the borders and fake elections. And you have a trial like this where the judge is so conflicted he can't breathe. He's got to do his job. And it's not for me that I can tell you. It's a disgrace. And I mean that Mother Teresa could not beat those charges. But we'll see. We'll see how we do. Amidst all of this, even Fox News has become a platform for hits against Trump. One of America's most popular radio hosts, Charlemagne the God, appeared on Greg Gutfeld's show and said he agrees with Robert De Niro's assessment of Trump. Let the record show, I totally agree with Robert De Niro. I am one of those people that suffer from Trump derangement syndrome. <laughs> I think he is a threat to democracy. Um, really? I think that he led an attempted coup at his country. You know, he said he wanted to suspend the Constitution to overthrow the results of an election. At the least, that's just not a patriotic thing to say. I don't believe that. He absolutely said that on True Social. I will look social. that up. He did. He, he said, wanted he, to suspend he, the con Constitution. He said, he said we should suspend the Constitution to overthrow the results of an election. He said it on True Social, then said he didn't say it. So I, I listen, I, I, I read up. Project 25. I'm one of those guys that's like, I don't know if he will necessarily uh, leave. I, ho I hope he does. Project 25 refers to a Trump transition plan written by the Conservative Heritage Foundation to guide the potential next Trump administration. The plan calls for, among other things, rolling back civil rights, destroying the federal government, and allowing Donald Trump to stay in office as long as he wants. It is wild stuff. And all of it is in jeopardy if Donald Trump becomes a convicted felon and loses significant voter support. So this is a pressure-packed time for Trump and his supporters, including Janine Pirro, who are literally melting down on live television as they obsess over a Biden-supporting Hollywood star. Robert De Niro, I mean, you know, he's good when he's reading a script in a movie, but he's not too smart in real life. Well, not too smart might as well be the story of Janine Pirro's life. And if you think her mental faculties are imploding now, just wait. If the jury returns guilty verdicts, Pirro and so many others in MAGA world will get even nuttier. By the way, one of Donald Trump's fiercest supporters in Congress, Marjorie Taylor Greene, is now in trouble with law enforcement for this. They want President Trump dead. They want to lock him up in jail for the rest of his life so that he dies in jail. And they want to take away his Secret Service protection so that he is murdered somewhere in jail, possibly. And the idea that this is somehow an assassination attempt is nonsense. It's absolute nonsense. Mm, check out that video at the link below. It generated a lot of comments on YouTube. One of the most popular is from Leonard Mecca, 8169, who wrote, what she did was commit a crime. The FBI should be knocking on her door next. I hear you. I look forward to reading your comments about Janine Pirro, who just underscored in attacking Robert De Niro, why Fox took away Pirro's own show. I'm David Schuster. Thanks for joining us.